Hey y'all, I'm Lisa. I'm a former lawyer who lives in a camper van. I make videos about solo female travel, van life, and life life. Please subscribe to my channel if you would like to see videos on those topics. I try to give as much information as possible about what it's like to live in a van and how you can follow your van life dreams. This is a video about mental health and therapy. Yay! It can be really difficult to manage mental health when you are a nomad. You can't really go to traditional in-person therapy. And so when I discovered remote therapy, I was like, ah, total game changer. And it has totally changed my life. As a solo traveler, I spend a lot of time alone with my thoughts, and that can be a real slippery slope down to depression if you don't take care of your mental health. Shout out to my therapist, Catherine. You rock. After falling in love with BetterHelp, I became an affiliate. If you sign up with the link below, you get 10% off and I get a small commission at no charge to you. So basically I told every single person that I knew about BetterHelp therapy and I got all my best friends to sign up because it's amazing and life-changing and I believe in it so much. But what I noticed was that a lot of my friends would reach out to me and ask me questions about this whole process because a lot of them had never done therapy ever before and I think remote therapy there's a little bit of a learning curve. So this video is my five top tips on how to make remote therapy a success for you. Tip number one, schedule a video session with your therapist as soon as possible. When you sign up with BetterHelp, you answer a bunch of questions, you say what you're looking for, and then they match you with the therapist. You and that therapist will have a session. You can either do video session, phone call, or live chat text message. As soon as possible, tell your therapist that you wanna do a video session so that you can see each other face to face. I think it's really important to build up that visual rapport with your remote therapist. Tip number two, know your goals and communicate them to your therapist. There are lots of different approaches to therapy. If you are just starting therapy for the first time and you've never really like dug deep with your childhood or past trauma, you might want them to be a little more gentle. You know, asking you questions, listening to you, not really pushing you too much. And if you're someone who likes a little bit more tough love, you might not want someone that's just gonna listen. You might kind of want to be called on your BS. So I highly recommend telling your therapist what kind of therapy you want so that they know that they have that leniency to kind of push you a little bit harder or start soft and go from there. <laughs> that sounds inappropriate. <laughs> My therapist talks a lot about deep work versus shallow work. Deep work is like the serious stuff. Like, you know, your trauma, how your parents raised you. It can be pretty hard to dig deep and to do that work. On the other side of that is shallow work, which is a little more goal oriented. Like I'm fighting with my partner, help, help us not fight, like conflict resolution. You don't always have to do the really, really hard work. You could also just focus on like, hey, how do I make myself happier in my day-to-day -day life? How do I become more productive? I personally go back and forth between the two because it's a lot. You know, my mom died from breast cancer five years ago. And so even though I've done a ton of therapy and tried really hard to work through that, as soon as I kind of think about it or have any sort of feelings of missing someone or get into a romantic relationship, I think a lot of um, stuff comes up from that. So that's like deep work that sometimes I can do, but then sometimes I just want to focus on how to get by day to day. Tell your therapist what kind of work you want to do and that might change over time. Tip number three, talk to your therapist about the 24-7 texting portal in the BetterHelp app. You can text your therapist in the app 24-7, anytime, unlimited, go nuts. And so at three in the morning, if you are feeling really anxious or worried about something, the app gives you a safe space to just say everything you're feeling. Then the next day, this professional reads this and responds in a very professional way. And you're able to look back at how you felt when you're not in the heat of the moment. It's like a shared journal. I recommend talking to your therapist about this because 
even though I knew I was able to use it 24 seven, I was worried that I was going to be annoying my therapist. I felt a little guilty about using it. So I deliberately asked my therapist, can I use this as much as I want? Is that okay? Does this bother you? And she said, I create my own boundaries. You use this 24 seven. I just recommend having that conversation because it helped me. Tip number four, never feel guilty about changing therapists. This is another thing that's kind of awesome about BetterHelp. You can change therapists with a click of a button. Therapists get it. This isn't like a romantic relationship where they're going to have their feelings hurt. You have to have a good rapport with this therapist and you might like them as a person, but not feel like they're really helping you. Don't worry about having to have the breakup talk. You can just change therapists freely and find someone that's a good fit for you. I'm currently on my second therapist with BetterHelp. The first one was fine but I didn't feel a great connection with her. And the second I started talking to the second one, I was like, all right, like she gets me. And my fifth and final tip for how to get the most out of remote therapy, be kind to yourself. Therapy isn't gonna make all of your childhood traumas disappear. It's gonna help you see them a little more objectively, understand how those things have internalized with you and how you brought that forward in your life and how you can change these patterns so that you're not bringing that with you anymore. Changing patterns is really hard. <laughs> so be nice to yourself. Talk to yourself like your own best friend. It's not going to be helpful if you're criticizing yourself for not growing fast enough. Give yourself props for even being brave enough to start therapy. That is a huge act of self-love. Like you, you love yourself and that's beautiful. <laughs> If you found this video helpful, please give it the thumbs up so that other people looking for remote therapy will find this video. I'd love for you to subscribe. I make videos about van life and life life. And if you'd like to sign up for BetterHelp in the description below is 10% off discount. Let me know how it goes. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see y'all on the road.